This is Dave. I'm going to show you how to start mining uh, Ether quickly on your um, PC. So you're just going to take uh, a few links that I'll give you here in downloading uh, the Gminer tool. So gminer.info has a link to download uh, their latest release right here. If you go ahead and download that and open it, you'll find that it has uh, all these files. Go ahead and uh, copy or export. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hit OK. Windows is going to give you a little bit of grief. I'll go through that in a minute. I'll copy all of these. And then I'm going to make a, 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 a folder on my computer. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here in the root and call it uh, Gminer and paste all the files here. So uh, Windows um, uh, found threats and is telling me that it's got a problem with that. So the uh, the way to overtake that is to just start up and launch uh, to Windows Defender. So you type in Windows Security and up pops, um, uh, if you type start, and you go into your security and protection. So this has uh, many options. What you need to do is go into virus and threat protection. Uh, Windows will be blocking anything that looks like a minor tool. It's because it blocks um, in, uh, crypto based things. It doesn't know how to trust them or not, but I'm giving you the confidence that you should trust this tool on GitHub. And so you go here to virus and threat protection settings, hit manage settings and scroll down to um, uh, exclusions, add or remove exclusion, and then add an exclusion and go ahead and tell it the folder and the folder that we just made. So the G minor folder, select that folder and bam, it shows that one as an exclusion now. The other thing is that we will also need to make sure that the firewall is allowing this application. If it pops, it will pop up when it uh, launches the application. But let's get back to the application here. To run the application, um, Oh, by, and by the way, the file now is missing. There's a file called Miner, and it's missing here. I'm going to go ahead and have to export that file once more. So I'm going to go to my downloads. Notice there's a file here called Miner. I'm going to copy that and paste it again to my Gminer folder. And now it appears. So that's because Windows destroyed it the first time. So I have to make this folder an exception for Windows to take that file. So now I can... Um, use this application, but to use this application, I'm going to go ahead and create a new type of, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit this uh, mine ETH file. And right now the mine ETH file says miner uh, and it has all of these things here. And I'm going to change it so that um, we use a configuration file instead. So um, uh, there's, there's a lot of little settings instead of uh, just indicating all these settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell it to use a single file for those settings. So to do that here, what we do is we change this to dash dash um, and the uh, dash dash config. Um, and I'm going to call the file config.txt. So um, this tells this application, this uh, bat file, to run config.txt. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, now I need to make the config.txt file. And I'm going to go ahead and just actually rename this one here from, um, from sample config. Uh, there is a file here already called sample config that uh, um, I'm going to rename to just be config.txt and edit this file and paste in um, some key settings that I'll give you. So those key settings are here and I'll go ahead and paste this in the, the comments. But um, pretty much this says to use the algo for ether hashing and um, to uh, post the earnings to our pool. So um, that is pretty much all you need to do. And at that point, you can save that file and come here and then run uh, mine ETH. I hit run mine ETH. And the first time it pops up, it's going to ask me if it wants to allow access. I'm going to go ahead and say allow all access. And
and at the same time it started to run a job but it needs to have that communication and uh, you will notice that uh, your computer starts to get a little bit toasty um, and every so often um, it tells you how fast it's mining so it should hopefully be getting um, a lot of hashes per second and um, we'll see how those come through so Hope uh, this is something you can uh, enable and turn on. I would recommend having a scheduled task uh, potentially or just launch it manually when, you're, when you know you can do so. Happy mining.